It's time to wake up San Gabriel Valley with CCN Sunrise. Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you with us on CCN Sunrise. I'm also really glad to have Antonio Harrison Thank joining you for us. Me. He's half of the 230 dudes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we can, we'll talk a little bit about that. I'm looking forward to um, co hosting with him. I'm filling in for Mary today. Of course, this, this isn't Mary, it's Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we're going to get right into um, our guests because we've got some really fascinating guests today. Um, have you ever heard of Bugs Art? You won't believe it. Wait till you see what it is. It's very, very cool. I cannot wait for that segment. It's so much fun. Also, we have Larissa Lamb has a documentary film screening in Pasadena. You don't want to miss That's that. That's for sure. And the taste of Sunrise with Chef Carmen, the three C's, cakes, catering, and consulting. She, oh, knows, she, she nailed the yeah, catering. she did. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that was she, good stuff. She shows how she makes something really good, slow-cooked beef brisket, chimichurri sauce. This is all in your wheelhouse because you're I like love the to cook, chef so. over here. Yeah, so that's good. Okay, um, really looking forward to all of those interviews. But before we go any further, we'd like to also thank our sponsors and advertisers for making this show possible. Crown City News is sponsored by Foothill Transit, San Gabriel Valley Economic Partnership, Pasadena Federal Credit Union, EH Financial, Ganal Lumber, Siren Arts Productions, Thank you for your support of Crown City News. Okay, we are about to see something that you just don't see every day. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> uh, Bugs Art. Bugs Joining Art. us now is artist Stephen Kutcher uh, to show us what this is all about. Yeah. So how, how did you even get started with this, Stephen? Well, I uh, was out. I'm an entomologist by profession. I was out and um, I just noticed insects crawling around and I noticed their footprints. And I started thinking about it, and you'll f insect footprints are everywhere, you just don't see them. So I decided I'd make them visible. And uh, so what I did was I dipped them in paint, and then um, I realized you couldn't see that just taking a bug and dipping it in paint. So being an artist, I got the idea of wetting the paper. So these are the same bug footprints, all three of them. This right here. Same, yes, same, same bug, beetle. Same here, same here. But this is wet paper. Ah. So once I realized I could paint with wet, you know, by wetting the paper, then I started experimenting. Actually, I should interject. I was doing a commercial uh, that Steven Spielberg was executive producing, and he, they wow. asked me, right. they, they, asked, <laughs> they asked me to have a fly walk through ink and leave fly footprints. I didn't know how to do it, I figured that out, and then in 2003, someone said, well, why don't you do some art? So these are, are super worms, and... Um, super worms? Yeah. Like mealworms. Well, they're right? giant mealworms. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I used those to paint this picture. Wow, wow. look at that. That's so incredible. that was painted by this, this guy. <laughs> and the do other, you know which specific ones? <laughs> well, you know, when I go and pick my artists, I pick, I, you know, there are lots of bugs. But you I call the bugs your artists. <laughs> yes, well, I pick the artistic ones, so it's a little <laughs> bit of casting. <laughs> How can you tell that one's more artistic than that one? <laughs> well, someone once asked me, do you name your bugs? And I said, yes. They said, what's the name of that bug? And I said, Mary. And they said, what's the name of that bug? And I said, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> they're all artistic. <laughs> yeah, so That's great. Right. This is incredible. Now, you've done like 100 feature films or something like yes, that? Yes, I've worked on over 100 feature films, wow. like the first Jurassic Park, the first Spider-Man with insects, because I wow. discovered that one out of every three films had a bug in it. And those <laughs> footprints... True, yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. Those footprints... Uh, so then Here, I let started, me hold this one out. So then I started doing... And these are all beetle footprints, the wow. same... The same one, and, and I've expanded that, and um, it's been a lot of fun for me. That's amazing. Now we're going to do... <laughs> well, now how much control do you have in the design that's being put on to the painting? Well, I have a lot of control, but it's a combination of between me and the bug. And one of the things I came up with was doing it on a Lazy Susan. So when I paint, I paint on a movable canvas. Here, let's put that away. So you can see that this, uh, um, because insects will orient to the light. So when they want to go straight towards the light, I can turn it and I can actually make circles oh. and make them make oh, circles wow. by turning this around. Amazing. That's pretty creative. Do, does PETA ever get on your case? Like, why are you putting bugs in paint? Well, first of all, 
I have to treat my artists very carefully because they're artists after all. <laughs> and they're so they're well fed. And I don't want to lose them. If I have a good painting artist, do you think I'd want yeah, to no, lose them? Oh, okay. So Peter has no grounds here. Okay, so yeah. you're, you're going to help us. We're going to actually make a, start a painting, right? Yes, cool. yes. And so we're what actually going to do this, huh? So <laughs> what I'm gonna, we're going to touch the box. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the paper a little bit first. Okay. Because you, ha you have to keep it wet. Okay. And that's probably one of the problems, too, and is that the water dries. And when it dries, you can't paint that way. Oh, wow. Um, and someone once said, how, how long does it take you to paint, make a painting? And I said, well, I kind of paint it as snail's pace or a beetle's <laughs> face. Or at a mealworm's face. <laughs> or at a mealworm's face, right. Or hissing cockroach. That's what this is, right? What are these? This is a hissing right. cockroach. Right, this is a hissing cockroach. Oh. And I'll let you start it off by taking one oh, of these. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> And oh, and it's actually hissing right now. It's right. hissing Go for at it, me. Tammy. That's all you do. <laughs> and then it's like, I you wanna, do it. <laughs> see, I, um, I want to find one. I want to find one that. that Give me a easy. good artist, okay? Yeah. I, I don't want a dud. Okay, I think this. <laughs> I think this will work. So okay. you can you can see how I put the. Uh, and I'll move this out of the way. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to gently put them on the paper okay. after I put some. Now I also put it on their abdomen. Anything that touches the surface is what is what uh, I paint, and I usually use a number of colors, but just for demonstration. How do you uh, clean it off yeah. of them? Um, I have a little squirt bottle, and I squirt, I I rinse off their legs one foot at a time. Wow! wow. Where so, do you get the bugs, Stephen? Um, well, hissing cockroaches you can purchase at a pet store, okay. but I go <laughs> also the cabinet, go, under I, the sink. Or <laughs> I also go out and collect them, and I found working with hissing cockroaches, beetles, and but I've worked with twelve. I work with flies and all kinds of things. Wow. Okay, so okay, if you want to, okay, so if you want to okay, grab them right the there. Oh, oh, okay, oh, so oh, 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 that's okay. Oh, don't kill them. Upside down. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, that's okay. Totally now up. watch, watch, watch Look it. At that. And I'm going to turn this. Wow. So we see that's if we can. Creepy. Oh, it was really creepy on my fingers. But look at, but look, look at, at the, that. That's so the trail he's taking. And I can guide him. So if I want to guide him this way. Wow. And you say that they go towards the light, right? Yes. And Very here in the studio, I can't. I yeah, can't there's the lights everywhere. Yeah. So I can. Wow. <gasps> look at that. Oh, it looks like he's kind of making a heart. Well, see, that's where you can guide. That's where oh. I can guide it by going like this and going like that. That's awesome. I think one of his buddies is really jealous because he's really hissing over here. <laughs> so you see, now you get a good idea. Yeah. Now let's, let's and so that paint kind of wears off after a while. Yes, so. it, yes, it will. Uh -huh. And uh, let's Okay, see. should we do one more? Antonio I'll wants try to try a bug. Yes, I'll yes. I'll try the next one. Yeah, <laughs> let's do the beetle. Okay. Oh. So... If you come around here, okay. Antonio, uh, if you can, let's, I'm going to get a beetle on here. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try a different color. Okay. How are we doing on time here? <laughs> okay. I know that this isn't, uh, with the beetles, it's a little bit harder in a way because I only do their feet because that's the only part that touches the surface. But... Um, Oh, right, not the abdomen, like the hissing cockroach. Yes, they'll drag their abdomen. Uh -huh. And let's see. This is there, is, do you have a favorite bug you like to make art with? Um, I like the large ones where their legs are far apart. Oh. But I've done tiny bugs. I've done, like I said, I've done flies. I've done little mm. mealworms. I've done Why? scorpions, tarantulas. <gasps> scorpions? Yeah, you can see with my... With the stinger unstung? Y no. With the stinger intact? Okay, you want to set them on there? Good job. Antonio didn't scream and holler <laughs> like I did. <laughs> so you see how I oh, you see cool. how I'm making him see how I made him turn oh, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, he's tall. He doesn't drag. Oh, oh, oh. he's like I'm done. <laughs> but you can he's done his part. Yeah, you so can cool. see, you can see how I how I've done that part. Let me hold this up so that That it, is awesome. Okay. Let's see. So you can <laughs> see and it will Hold it down on the Okay. Thing. No, okay. no, no, I mean like stand it up and hold it down okay. on the thing just there. to make it here, okay. I don't want to get my, like just hold it down. There we go. We get a good shot of that. 
That is so cool. This is Bugs Art. Yeah. And um, how do people, I mean, how, how can people like buy one of the Bugs paintings? <laughs> well, they can go to my website, uh -huh. uh, bugartbystephen.com. Bug art, Bugs Art or Bug Art? Bug single, Art. Single oh, Bug. Single, yes. bug. single yes. Bug Art. Bug yeah. Art by, by Stephen. And is it with a V or PH? With a V. Okay, and, Stephen, uh, with a v. Uh, and the movie I made about it is up on YouTube. You can look up Bug Art and Stephen Kutcher and see excerpts from the movie and watch how I clean them up. Oh, yeah. That'd I'd be like interesting. See that. Good, good. Thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. It's awesome to meet you. And you're a great artist. I can oh, see yeah. <laughs> you have great potential. No one has ever seen <laughs> you being a great artist. So this, I'll take that. Thank you very much for being yeah. here. Okay, what's next? Coming up... An incredible story that was made into a documentary film. You've seen Larissa Lamb as a guest and guest co-host here at CCN Sunrise before. She's back to tell us about her work on the documentary Finding Cleveland. Next.